Okay. So when it's a chi-squared goodness of fit test, or test of uh, proportions, a chi-squared test of proportions, that's when you only have one, one variable. So something like this, okay? What are the most popular types of drinks? Coke, Pepsi, and Sprite. And suppose we hypothesize, the expected, we hypothesize that 20% of people um, drink Coke, 60% uh, of people drink Pepsi, and the remaining 20% of people drink Sprite. And then we have our expected outcomes, you know, it could be something else, okay, it could be 30, 30, and 40%, okay? And so this would, this was your, this would be your chi-squared test of goodness of fit, or your chi-squared test of proportions, where you only have one variable, okay, which is the type of drink, and then we have some, you know, outcomes and proportions, and we have to test that. And we have to test whether what we expect is, um, is equivalent to what we observe. Um, all right, now, how, how is this different from a chi-squared uh, test of independence or chi-squared test of, um, of a contingency table? Well, contingency table is when you have two variables. Okay? So we have, let's say, what is your favorite drink? Okay. But we also, we suspect that what drink you like to, you know, what your favorite drink is, depends on whether you're a boy or a girl. And so then we have all these proportions. And so we survey a whole bunch of people and we have, you know, an outcome like this. Um, something like that. We survey a whole bunch of people and all that. All this. Okay. So this is a contingency table because we have two variables. We have what type of drinks uh, you like to, you know, our, our respondents like to drink. We also have gender, whether you're a boy or a girl. So when you have two variables like this, this is a chi-squared test for um, independence or your chi-squared test of a contingency table. So how you tell the difference is whether you have two variables, okay, in this case, or whether your question looks like this, where you only have one variable and you're testing the proportions of that one variable. Okay.